Welcome back to Elden Ring. Before we continue where we left off at the Dragon Temple Altar, I think there's something we missed back here. I remember seeing Alexander the Jar, I think right about there. And it looks like we get there by being on the upper floor of this building. And I think I just found the way out here. I remember coming here and looking down and going, oh, I could fall down there. But I think we actually go up. This will probably get us to the higher level. Yeah. Great Grave Glovewort. Praise the light, yeah. <laughs> Some leakage. So does this not actually lead to where Alexander is, though? I really thought it would. From outside, it really looks like you get there from, like, here. Like, there should be a doorway right here or something. Yeah, I can't find a way up there, so I guess I'll just... Hope for a teleporter. Hope I didn't miss something. So, back at the Dragon Temple altar. I think we need... Whoops. I think we need to go down one of these. Was that just a dog? What's a dog doing here? Yeah, those are just... Those are just dogs. They kind of look like the dragon things just kind of haunched over, but I guess they are actually... Just dogs. Well, they should be scared away by my beast repellent torch then. Oh, it's still alive. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Oh. Ooh. 
precious item ahead. Uh, can you slip past me? Shoo. Go. Octopus? You know what? Yeah, sure. Hold on, is it Seek Grace? There might be Grace, like, just up here? We can go there. Can also go up. Oh man, there's a lot of ways to go. What the heck? Let's keep going. Oh, they weren't lying. There's a grace ahead. Dragon Temple Lift. Well, this just goes to a whole bunch of stuff. Just so much stuff. This goes to everything. There's too many ways. I don't even know what to do first. I think I want to do the stuff back here first. Okay, let's try going up here. Okay, now that's not a dog. I 
I mean, anything's a dog if you want it to be. Of course. I still need a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Hmm. Looks like I might be able to jump onto that over there. That little lip. Careful, doggy. Try that again, because I think I might be able to make it. Heck yeah. Now, is there any point to this, though? <laughs> Wait, be wary of circling around. I remember that message. No, this is just a normal place to be, isn't it? I've already been here, I think. Let's see what's back here. Is that a dog? No, it's holding a weapon. I mean, dogs can have weapons. Hidden path ahead try jumping? It's very unlikely, but it does have 600 upvotes, so... There's like a 1% chance it's true, but there's nothing here to indicate. Like, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's no way. I will throw a token... Rainbow Stone. Nope. Okay, aside from the two sites of grace that we found, there's only one other way to go. And that's dropping down over here. Wait. Wait, hold on one second. I forgot to check up here. I think this is just the way I went before. Which just le Yeah, that just leads to this whole thing. So no, let's drop down. Just shocking yourself there, my dude. What's all that pitter pattering? Like coming from above me. Beastman's curved sword. Curved sword forged of dull iron wielded by the beastmen of Rumazula. The blade is heavy but well balanced, comparatively easy to wield for the damage it delivers. Hmm. Yeah, it only weighs four. Very, very modest at requirements. 13 strength, 11 dex. 
love the shape of it. Wait. I missed that item over there. I don't think they're much of a threat. Ooh. Isn't that the one I'm using? It is. It's the even better version of it. Yeah, it's got even more dragons. Plus two dragons. One, two, three dragons. Vastly boosts physical damage negation. Heck yeah. Oh, that just loops around to where we've already been. Okay, that's it for that. Strongfoe ahead. Yeah, it looks like a big battle arena. Oh, it's a crucible night, isn't it? Yep. Oh, Grace ahead, seek right. Wait, what? Wait, what do they mean, seek right? <laughs> there is no right. All right, let's try to laser beam them, I think. Fuck, I don't have that effect on my potion. Shit. Oh no. No, 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 no. Well, at least I remember their moves still. Okay, being efficient is going to be really important here because I am going to be plinking their shield endlessly. Almost all my shots are going to hit their shield. Oh, here we go. They're going to start flying and using their tail. Oh, 
Oh, invisible wall. I want to climb the dragon. Poor thing. All crumbled. Big dog. The big dog in the sky. Holy shit, they weren't kidding. There actually is a grace rate. Except there's no way to get back, so that's... I don't think you should get it first. Before fighting the boss. Uh... Could I actually make that jump? I think I maybe need to jump there. Gah, that's scary. Okay, this place is extensive. That's now three separate sites of grace we have where we can explore. I, I honestly have no idea which one is the critical path at all. Well, okay, I guess the critical path is certainly not the one that is through the door that requires keys, like the normal, like, imp keys. There's no way that's the one, because I don't think they would make you need imp keys. You're a beast, right? So you wanna... No, no. They, uh... They definitely still attack. I guess it's already spotted me. And it seems to want to fight. Lever? Be wary of backstepping. <laughs> Well, the question of which way to go... Again, I know the critical path is not going to be through the imp door, so I suppose I should go there first? Okay, through the imp door, dragon temple lift. Let's check out this way first. Can I get a backstab on you? Yes. Uh. 
Lord's Rune. Have I ever had one of those? Hero's Runes. We had the weird... We had that really weird rune that only showed up in that one place, I think. Newman's Runes or something. Hero's Runes all the way up to plus five, and then even better than that is... Whoa! Lord's Rune. I guess so I guess this is the body of a lord <laughs> died in a fountain RIP Grace that dwells within the inhabitants of the lands between true vestiges of gold runes of one who was destined to become a lord but when the elden ring was shattered all that remained was a distant duty Well that description sounds familiar so maybe we have seen it before wary of up oh yeah they're all on the trees what are they held up with by the way just rope so did someone just hang them there as just like I don't know defenses I guess they're not all up in trees though I wonder if they mind being up in the trees. Maybe that's just how they sleep. Oh, holy shit. Oh, that's a lot. Oh no. Those hurt. Those hurt really bad.
have no healing left. That took a lot out of me. Can I get them to fall off? No. Well, that looks like the critical path. Not exactly sure what leads to that, though. Golden Lightning f Fortification. Let's just back to where we started, so let's go this way. get down there. There's a little ledge to fall onto. I want to mark that on the map, actually, but I'm in combat. Oh no, there's a dragon. Maybe we'll go up here first. Oh, is this how you get to Alexander? Yourself. 
The city hanging in the air is slowly crumbling. What an incredible place we find ourselves. But that aside, I can't believe you felled that giant. It was practically a god. I doubt there's another soul out there who could have done the same. Of course, I count myself the great Alexander among the many. Which means I've but one thing to ask of you. Would you kindly undertake my ordeal? Come and tell me when you're ready. I've been longing to fight a warrior as accomplished as you. Mm -hmm. Do I really have to? You are ready then, I take it. Then let us begin. You didn't even give me a choice! Alright. That's it? Like, oh my god, you're so easy to kill. I, I hope they'll just de aggro. Hold on, this looks so familiar. Is this the area that we explored when we were teleported here and got like a little glimpse of the place? I might be remembering wrong. I don't think I can get back up if I go down to get that item, so let's check up here first. Well, you're definitely going to come to life. Actually, your body parts are rolling away. Maybe not. Holy shit, you almost killed me. Oh. Oh, well, I killed myself. I wonder if Alexander's gonna attack us on sight now. I doubt there's an alternative way to complete that quest, so I probably should just fight them. Oh my god, it was forever ago since we got a sight of grace. Christ. I guess I'll just run there and pray. Oh. Uh. That's interesting. This is probably somewhere we've already been. Yeah, we've already been here, right? I can't look at the map, but. Yeah. That just loops around to the Dragon Temple Site of Grace. Okay, let's try this again.
Dungeon Dragon Apostles Cookbook 4. Ah, oh, you do wake up! Okay, I can fall down there if I want to. I think I've already been down there, but let's try it. Yeah, I didn't expect here again. Yeah, that is the place. This is the place where we went to when we were teleported here from the four belfries. Okay, so, aside from Alexander, which I still don't want to fight, I don't know, I want to just wait and see if something? Wait and see if something. Um, but we do still have the dragon up here. I think we can level up, though. Yeah, definitely. I think I want to change my wondrous physic to damage negation and magic attacks. Do I want to change it to the laser beam? I think I do. Yeah, let's try to laser beam the dragon. Oh, I'm actually like a thousand short. Yeah, one more stamina. It's only going to give me one point of stamina. Maybe it'll start to give me more, because I think mine did a similar thing. It started to give me more FP the more I upgraded it. Like, larger increases, I mean. Okay. Come on! Please take your time waking up. Please take your time waking up. Oh no. Oh no. Problem. All right, well, I got it down below. Oh. Did you just talk to me? You just said, good lady, I can't believe your heart was in it at all. Okay, let's try that again, this time with a higher max health. And I'm thinking I might actually want to wake it up first so that it can move a little bit. Because, yeah, aiming so low to the ground didn't work so well. But then again... Nah, let's try it. That did... <laughs> that did nothing. Let's try this. Alright, that did a lot of damage. Was my heart in at that time? Stone. Is that it? Let's try exploring starting from the Dragon Temple transept. See where this goes. High up, be wary of pathetic sort.
Wait, is this... Huh? That goes nowhere? Have I been there on the other side? There's a whole bunch of messages on the other side. Huh. The purpose of this side of grace is probably... If you... I think it's there because if you get it before you fight the boss, then you'll have a side of grace close to the boss encounter, just in case you come from over there, I guess. So in that case, that leaves the only place being the Dragon Temple rooftop. So I think that's going to lead to that large bridge that leads to the... Well, this large bridge that leads to this thing. I should probably go defeat them before I try to explore. God, their wings look so cool, don't they? Like the pattern on, on the wings. Especially when they scream. They're almost gold. I guess I just run past everything? I don't know. I mean, the birds aren't taking damage from the magic. I should probably take out the birds. Behind and then down. This way? Oh. Okay. Oh, it's leading to that... Um, lift. There, now it should work from the other side. Drake Knight Helm, armor. Gauntlets and Greaves. Oh, those look very pretty. Black Iron Helm worn by Drake Knights. Features the spoils of a dragon catch as an emblem of pride as both dragon hunter and partaker of communion. From birth, Drake Knights speak not a word. They spend their lives pursuing the strength of dragons for its sublime beauty and inspiration of awe. Oh, that's so cool. But it's not a dress. Ah, too bulky. As cool as they are. Oh, some more bracelets. Those look interesting. Uh, I think the shield hand one is more interesting, but that's covered by the shield. Too bulky. Too bulky. Oh yeah, I did want to see if there's anything that I like as much as the Crucible Greaves. So stat-wise, how we look at more heavy, that's fine. A bit better protection. Significantly better poise, and all the resistances, really. Okay, if, I, if those look good, I might use them. Yeah, nothing else is even close. Just because of the weight. 
this is on par with the Crucible Greaves. How do they look? Ooh, no. 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 I do not like the feet. I look like a duck or something. Nope. What about this? Oh, that's a cool look. The twinned armor. Then I have actual toes. Like toes built into my armor. Oh, that's really cool. Of course, it's not as good. But how much worse is it, really? Quite a bit, actually. Hmm. Nah, it looks too cool, though. I'm gonna go with it. Do I have anything else that might look cool? I mean, really, for it to look cool, the, f the legs... Or no, the, the feet specifically have to look cool, because that's really the only part you're going to see. And most don't really have two distinctive feet. Yeah, it's going to have to be the twin Greaves. Oh. Hey. This didn't take me where I thought it, it would. So there is a way back up here. So actually, it would be a good idea to take the grace before fighting that boss. Uh, I might be able to go over there. Uh, no. <laughs> What's this message? Other people, help me. Did you do the same thing? Sweet. Pottery broke my fall. So, wait, is there really no way to get it to come down to this level then? Yeah, it's not possible. Get ready for using my laser beam. You're almost dead. You're almost dead, but you have a lot of hit points in your remaining hit points. Was that one of the ones I'd fought earlier and ran away, or is that just supposed to signify the fact that it's, well, almost dead?
Somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Yes, finally. Oh, I can get my wing of our of Arteria? No, it's not Arteria. Estelle, wing of Estelle to plus 10. Ah, okay, we can drop down there. Interesting, so that's not really heading here. I mean, maybe it could eventually. Instead, it's heading down to this little thing. Oh, there's also up there, which looks like it... Ah, I don't know. It's so hard to tell. Merchant? Down? Uh, what's this blood stain from, though? Did you fall down in the wrong place? Oh, <laughs> they overshot it. So I think it is possible to fall down there. What is that?
Somberstone Miner's Bell Bearing 5. Dragon Ahead. Before we respawn the enemies, let's go back and drop down in that area. Get off here. Dragon. Oh boy. We're gonna have to fight them here. I have... <laughs> Uh, I have three healing potions, no FP potions, less than half a bar of mana. Be wary of boss. Yeah, I figured. What the? Huh? What did I just do? I was trying to read the message. Okay, this is fine. Incredibly cool. I'd put my chances at defeating this first try at, like, 1%. What a battle arena.
Dragon Lord Placidusix. Well, there goes all my FP. <laughs> oh, they do have gold all over them, don't they? Bits of gold. Oh man, this is going to be a really hard fight. And with how far away, there's like nothing near it. Oh my god, that's going to be such a long run back. Oh. Okay, I'm pretty sure even if I laser beam them for the full 10 seconds, they wouldn't... They probably wouldn't even be at half health, but... Whatever, let's try it. Oh, this isn't gonna reach, is it? No. No, there's... Ah, I can't stay put for that long. Whew. Oh, I think I just broke their poise. Nebulous Bam! Oh no! Oh, what are you doing? What? Huh? What? Oh, that's my last healing potion. Shit. I really need to break your poise. Like, now. Oh no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Double laser beat. This boss is so cool. Okay, since I'm mainly going to be using Nebula, um, I got rid of most of my FP potions. I only have two. I'm not going to need that much FP. So I have mostly healing potions, 12. Um, I got rid of the Eliminate's FP consumption, since I'm not going to be laser beaming, and replaced it with one that increases my um, uh, poise damage by 30% for 30 seconds. So hopefully I can down them easier. I think that's it. Did I rune up? Yes, I did. Let's go.
I'm gonna stay topped up. Ooh, broke their poise. Uh, okay, let's see how much damage it does if I go for their weak point. Usually it's not that much. Yeah, that's really not much. I think that'll do it. Whew. That is unbelievably cool. Everything about that. The boss, the arena... The cutscene before the arena is so cool. Remembrance of the Dragon Lord. And such a, like, important epic... Well, I don't know if it's important. I don't know if you need to defeat it. But such a, like... A boss that they obviously put tons of work into. And it's just down this weird little place that it would be super easy to miss. You just gotta, like, fall off an edge onto a rock you can barely see. <laughs> It's just out on the map in the middle of nowhere. Do we have souls over there? Actually, how many souls did we get? Oh, we got a lot. We got a lot. 280,000. Two levels worth. Okay, will we start getting more stamina? Before we got one point, and we get two, and then we get two more. Eh, I'll take it. Let's see what we can get with our remembrance. What can we get from it? Heavy thrusting sword, Dragon King's Crag Blade. Takes. Oh, it's actually a dex weapon. 18 strength, 37 dex. Special is Thundercloud Form. This thing weighs 8. Piercing Gravelstone Sword containing Primeval Lightning. A portion of the Dragon Lord's power gained from a remembrance. This weapon commands great power over the paltry mortal dragons of today. Thundercloud form. Temporarily transform into a red thundercloud and fly through the air, then plunge down with a lightning-infused blade. Hold to increase the reach of the thundercloud form. That sounds incredibly cool. Just what they were doing to me, I guess. That's such a dex weapon, though. And my dex just isn't... I mean, I'm only one dex short being able to wield it. But the fact that it doesn't scale with int means I think I'd be at a huge disadvantage. Because then all my int would go to waste. God, that sounds cool, though. And this is an incantation, unfortunately. Spews Golden Breath of Dragonlord Placidusix. Okay, well, I think I definitely want to at least see this already used, so... Do what you... Let's... Buy it. Let's upgrade my Wing of Estelle to plus 10. I wanted to upgrade the Dragon King's Crag Blade, but I realized I'm missing... Um, Somberstone 1, and I also can't buy it because I guess I don't have the, 
like bell bearing one with which to buy level one and two somber stones. So realizing that that's probably from way back at the beginning of the game, being that it's the first tier, I looked it up and it turns out it's in the uh, Celia Crystal Tunnel. Remember the Crystal Tunnel we got teleported to? And then I escaped from? I never actually went back here. We never defeated the boss. This is probably going to be a complete cakewalk. Sumberstone Miner's Bell Bearing 1. There we go. So I noticed that we can speak with Roderica about I th the smith. Oh, is that right? So Master Hugh won't listen to you either. You have my thanks regardless. I'll try and talk him round next time. I know he was given this great entreaty to craft a weapon which could slay a god. Though I can't help but think of it as a curse. Fearsome curse put on him by Queen Marika. And if that's the case, I'm not sure there's anything we can do. I'll upset the girl. She says that now my chains are broken, I'm free. And if I stay here, I will be ruined with the round table. <laughs> what use have I for freedom now? I smith weapons to slay a god. I have lived and will die doing so upon this spot. Is there any other way? Let's test out this weapon. I just have the prosthesis wear heirloom. Heirloom? Heirloom to raise dexterity so I can use it. Quick attack. Strong attack. And the one I'm most excited for. The special. I think it said you can charge it. Ooh. Oh, we gotta try that on an actual try it on an actual enemy. Although with enemies this hard, this might be a mistake. Broke their poise. I think anything that's a great, well, great anything, uh, or heavy thrusting sword, like anything that's heavy or great or colossal, I think does a lot more poise damage. God, that is incredibly cool. That's a lot of damage. Like, it's not the best weapon for me because it scales, or, or rather because it doesn't scale with int. And that is my predominant stat. I have decent decks, but I have much better int. So that's why the Wing of Estelle is so good for me, because it scales really well, or, well, pretty well with int, and pretty well with decks. So, with both. But scales best in int, which is my predominant stat. But it really takes advantage of both, whereas this one only takes advantage of my decks which isn't nearly as good. Like, you can see the magic damage for this is 191 plus 170, whereas the lightning damage for this is 135 plus 90. Like, it just is nowhere near as good. And it's a heavy sword, so it attacks quite a bit slower. So this thing's definitely much worse for normal attacks. However, that special is really good. It's also really cool. And it seems to do tons of poise damage. And covers a pretty good distance, too. Like, can I hit you from all the way, I don't know, back here? No, it doesn't go that, quite that far. But I'm sure it can go this far. It 
It is incredibly cool. It's really cool. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode there, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to do a couple things that I missed at the Dragon Temple rooftop. <laughs>